been volunteering with Habitat for Humanity and learning about construction as well as ways nonprofits and I can help combat the housing crisis we are facing here in America. Through my time, I've talked to many people within the Habitat community to see where their views on this problem lie and their story about how they got to where they are today. My name's Allison Bublitz. How long have you been working for Habitat for Humanity? I think I'm going on about three and a half years now. I worked for about two, almost three years, and then took about a two-year break, three-year break, and then I've been back almost a year now. How much involvement do you have with the families that are going to be in these homes? Um, not a huge amount. They have to put in their sweat equity mm -hmm. when they come to the job site, so that's pretty much the time that we spend with them. And then they get to pick certain things that go into their house, the color of flooring, mm -hmm. um, cabinets, and things like that. So we work with them there. How has working with Habitat Human Humanity uh, affected the way you see, you know, affordable housing and the people who are, you know, gaining this affordable housing? That's a tough question. Um, I think it's pretty much opened my eyes to the fact of how unaffordable it is for, I mean, how hard you would have to work for some of these families to be mm -hmm. able to afford a home. Um, you know, we, uh, I've been blessed all my life and had a roof over my head and we kind of take for granted a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, definitely. So this is, you know, it, it humbles me yeah. to work with them and see them and just see how much it means to them to have the chance to have something like this where, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, we that have had a home our whole lives, exactly. we just take it for granted, oh yeah, exactly. I got a house, I'm going to get a new house, I'm going to do this. Where do you think the resources that you know, maybe from the government or just, you know, whatever source, nonprofit, or the uh, best place to help homelessness. Education, and I also think uh, finding land, finding property. I mean, everywhere you go, every city you go to, the hardest thing to do is to find a place to build, to find the actual property to build on. So, um, and I always thought if I won the lottery, I would create a little community kind of yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. Just make it affordable for everybody and you know but I think education for families for you know people on the outside mm -hmm. you know educating somebody like me as to how important it is for somebody to be able to afford a home yeah I helped with mainly two different parts of Habitat's work, the construction and reclaim. When I did reclaim projects, we would go into homes and businesses and take windows, doors, cabinets, and other materials to sell at Habitat's secondhand store called the ReStore. I really enjoyed this work and loved the focus that Habitat puts on sustainability. This focus on sustainability is seen in the houses that Habitat makes. Thick insulation and hydroponic heating means that all the homes are LEED certified. Habitat also has a program called Global Villagers that creates homes in other countries. I got a chance to talk to some of the group leaders about an upcoming trip. I'm Paige. I currently work at the uh, Habitat Restore, um, but I am going on this trip to Portugal. Um, Robin and I are taking 12 volunteers, so we're the co-leaders of the trip. Um, we'll be in Portugal for, I think, about 10 days, and we'll work five of those days on the construction site. Um, probably doing a home repair project, because in Portugal, the houses, um, they pass down from generation to generation, so the house that we could work on could be, you know, hundreds of years old and needs repairs done to it. Um, so the Global Village trip, so Habitat for Humanity is obviously an international organization um, with a really quite simple mission of just um, the idea that everybody deserves uh, shelter and a safe place to call home. They do that by doing global village programs uh, throughout the world, and teams um, go out and do construction projects. I don't know how much yep. I'm missing things there. No, it's just to be, we recruit local community members to join us, and so we look for people 
honestly, if they have less construction skills, that's that's really enjoyable because they don't have as many expectations of how something should be done. Because in each country, it's done just a little bit differently than we do here. And so these folks come with just really open hearts and minds and um, desires to just help make a difference. And so we work pretty hard. We're laborers for those five days. Um, but it's such a great experience. We work with the families that we're serving. We get to do different cultural experiences so that we get to know that area and country um, from the perspective of the people that live there. They, they show us things that they think are special to them, and so then we get to experience that. So you know, it's different in each country. So sometimes you're making tortillas or visiting an orphanage or making cigars. Um, this time we'll get to visit um, some port wine um, vineyards and companies and on the boat tours and walking tours, so it'll just be different. It's going to be amazing. So, yeah, just a kind of a mix of people. Some have done it before that are going this year with me, and some are brand new and they just heard about it um, in the newspaper. And so, the idea is to just get at least one more house built somewhere in the world. So, and today we're out here in Bend, making a difference for the families here. I'm so glad I got to be part of this organization. I learned so much about myself and my community from this project, not to mention the practical skills. I got to meet some amazing people who really helped me shape where I want my life and career to be. I will use the experience I gained from this project to move forward with becoming a carpenter and working with communities to create affordable housing for everyone.